hello everybody welcome to the ne this next video so in the last video we have agreed that what we are going to do to begin in this course is given a function f of x we are going to find out its maximum and minimum value of course if fx is given some domain will be given let us assume that the domain is an interval a b and we want to know what is the maximum and minimum value of the function so we are going to learn techniques we are going to learn techniques to find out maximum and minimum value of the functions maximum and minimum values of the functions but let, let us stop and think for a moment before learning about these techniques so we have to think what are the functions what are the type of functions we are going to work with because every function may not have its maximum and minimum so it is useless to apply your techniques on those functions so before learning these techniques we would like to know what type of functions we are going to work with so i'll give you two examples suppose you have f of x is equal to x and your interval is open interval 0 1 and then you have another function f of x is equal to x same function and your interval is now closed interval 0 to 1 so let us see what these two type these are very simple functions very easy to draw you can just you have 0 here if I want to draw this function so this point is not included in my domain so I'll put a, a, an open circle here and this is this is 1 here so again this point is not included so I have something like this and if I want to draw this graph so here I have 0 included 1 included so I have something like this right so if I ask you what is the maximum value of the function here so you will say simply that f of x equal to x maximum value is 1 and what is the minimum value it is 0 maximum value is achieved at x is equal to 1 and minimum value is achieved at x is equal to 0 so this is quite simple now let us look at this thing here if you think of what is the maximum value we know that maximum value will be achieved at a number which is less than 1 a number which is just before 1 because 1 is not included in our domain but do you know what is the number just before 1 you don't know because if you if you the number just before 1 is 0 0.9999999 and you cannot write this number so you don't know what is the number before 1 so you don't know what is the maximum value of the function on this interval and similarly with minimum because 0 is not included so you know that minimum value is on a number which is just after 0 but you don't know that number that number is 0 0.0000000 and 1 at n and we don't know what is that end we don't know that infinity measurement right so this is an interval 0 1 open and this is a function x so you, you don't have minimum and maximum value of this function f of x is equal to x on this interval 0 1 right so this is an example of the function which does not have minimum and maximum values on the given domain so this is an example of a function not having minimum not attaining or having minimum or maximum values on the given domain So here our function did uh, achieve its maximum and minimum values. So we should have some criteria which you know separate these functions and these functions. So for that we have something called min max theorem for continuous functions. So we have min max theorem for continuous functions. So what is this theorem this theorem says that if you have a closed interval a b closed interval means boundary points are included you have a closed interval i and a continuous function on i i know i hope you know continuous function on i then this theorem says that for sure f achieves 
its maximum and minimum value on i so this is a theorem this theorem we are not going to prove this theorem we are not going to prove it but you will assume it right so we, we you should have a closed interval and you have a you should have a continuous function then for sure that particular function is going to achieve its maximum and minimum value on i we can think of some examples for example i'll just give you some examples here you have suppose this is your interval a b so this is an example where minimum and maximum value is achieved inside the interval suppose your a is something like this so you see this is your minimum value call it m small m and maximum value call it capital m so this is capital m so this is mod of small uh, m actually so this is an example where minimum and maximum are achieved inside i in the interior of i so you can have another another example where your minimum and maximum values they are achieved at the boundary so you can have something like this this is your interval closed interval right so this is the maximum value achieved capital m and this is the minimum value achieved small m so this is an example where the minimum and maximum values are achieved at the boundaries and then you have you can have some other example for example we can have maximum value achieved inside and minimum at the boundary say this is your a then you have something like this this is your b right so this is your maximum value and this is your minimum value so here your minimum value is achieved at the boundary maximum value is achieved inside a in i inside i so you can have one more example where maybe you have maximum value achieved at the boundary and minimum value achieved at the interior so this is your a and this is your b so you see you are attaining your maximum value here m and your minimum value here small m so here maximum value is achieved at the boundary and minimum value is achieved inside so if we if we believe in maximum minimum theorem for continuous functions so this is the scenario we have we have this is a set of all functions with all possible domains and inside this set we have a smaller set we have set of continuous functions on closed intervals it means that continuous functions on the with domain as a b for this particular class we are sure that minimum maximum value will exist for this particular class we are sure that maximum and minimum value will exist outside this here here this yellow region we are not sure in this yellow region here we are not sure so one example i have already given i have given you an example f of x is equal to x and the interval is 0 1 so it does not fall into that red category and we have seen that here maximum minimum does not exist don't exist so i can give you one more example because here our domain was open interval was open 
now we'll take a, an example of a discontinuous function so you can here for this yellow reason you can have one more example you can have a function f of x is equal to x plus 1 for minus 1 less than x less than 0 and you have 0 at x is equal to 0 and you have x minus 1 for x less than equal to 1 greater than 0 so let us look at this function how does this function look so you have x plus 1 when x is minus 1 to 0 so minus 1 to 0 you have x plus 1 so at 0 this function is going to be 1 but because 0 is not included so you will put an you will put an open circle there right and at 0 the function is 0 so you have value 0 here and then at uh, uh, from the right side you have this value minus 1 to 1 so this function your interval is minus 1 to 1 so this interval is closed and this function you can check this is continuous everywhere except at 0 because at 0 the value of the function is 0 and the left hand lim limit is 1 and the right hand limit is minus 1 so this function is not continuous this is not continuous at x is equal to 0 right so now can you see can you find out the maximum and minimum value can you find out the maximum and minimum value no answer is no why same explanation because you can see that maximum value is at a point which is just before zero and we don't know that point and similarly minimum value is at a point which is which is just after zero and we don't know a point which is just before zero and a point which is just after zero so there is no minimum value uh, minimum and value maximum value attained for this particular function so here i have given you two examples this this function is in, in this yellow region because the domain is an open interval and this particular function is in yellow region because this is not continuous but i want you to take a note that not f there can be some functions here whose minimum maximum value exists for example we can talk of we can talk of maybe uh, let us see we can talk of mod x on mod x on minus 1 to 3 closed right so this is a function like th this is not a function in this red region because this is an open interval from left hand side so you have a graph like this minus 1 to 3 0 it is 0 at 3 it is 3 and at minus 1 it is 1 so the graph is like this you can see that minimum value 0 is achieved and maximum value 3 is also achieved because 3 from 3 it is closed so what I am saying is for this red region you are sure that many minimum maximum exist for this yellow region minimum maximum may or may not exist so to be on the safer side we are just going to deal with this red region to search for the minimum and maximum values so this is what we are going to start in the next video that how we are going to search for this minimum and maximum value